Hey everyone, this is Amanda from the Flourishing Farmhouse and today I'm really excited about my project. I picked up an old bassinet from a thrift store and paid less than five bucks for this beauty. I'm gonna paint it up, make it all nice, and then I'm going to gift it to my daughter to put baby dolls and all that cute stuff in it. So for today's project, I'm going to be using a Norwax rag or any kind of rag just to scrub down this bassinet. You can tell it's, it's pretty old, so it's gonna need some scrubbing. Then I'm also going to follow that up with using this 220 grit uh, sandpaper. So I'm going to rough it up a little bit after scrubbing it down. Then I have a stir stick and an angled two inch paintbrush. And I'm going to apply a coat of Extreme Bond Primer from the Sherwin Williams line. You know, any good quality primer will do. And then I'm gonna finish it off with this product that I'm really excited to try. It's the Graham and Brown Eggshell in their white color. So this is gonna be finished off with a nice, beautiful coat of white paint. Again, this is the Graham and Brown line, which I'm really excited to try. So my first step, as mentioned before, is just gonna to be to scrub this beauty down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I will fast forward through this. Okay, that was pretty nasty. I was getting some good dirt off of this thing. So, now that this has dried, I'm going to rough it up a bit with this 220 grit sandpaper. When painting furniture, the best advice I've ever received is that you get what you give when you prep your furniture. So, even though some paints say, no need to prime, no need to sand, it's always a good idea to still do it because it's just gonna make that paint adhere that much better. So, I'm just gonna rip this up so my piece isn't so big. I like to use about a quarter of the sheet and I'm just gonna lightly sand rub it. This shouldn't take me too long. I'll go ahead and fast forward. Okay, and now, that I roughed it all up, I'm gonna go ahead and take my cloth, this is a microfiber-ish rag, it's the Normax line, and I'm gonna wipe this off again to get that dust off. You don't want dust on it when I apply my first coat of paint, or in this case, primer. So I'm gonna wipe it off, and I'll fast forward again. All right, the prep work is now complete. My bassinet is now ready for primer. Again, I'm using the Sherwin-Williams line and I use the Extreme Bond Primer. It is by far my favorite, though there are a lot of other great high quality options out there. So I'm gonna pry open my can and I'm gonna start applying. I really only need a very thin, thin layer. So, opening the can. And then with any paint, I'm gonna give it a really good stir. Looks like it needs it, it's been sitting for a while. And then I'm using this two inch angle brush. Angle brushes are my favorite, especially when I have the detail of all these really gorgeous spindles in my piece of furniture. All right, stir. And let's start applying some paint. love that I, I make a lot of white furniture, so even, even this little coat of primer, I can kind of get an idea of what this is going to look like, I'm really. And I'll be taking this piece of furniture to the next level. I'll go ahead and fast forward again. All dry and now today I'm going to apply my first coat of paint. Again, I'm using the True White color from the Graham and Brown line. So I'm going to start by stirring this up really well. This is a beautiful white color. It's nice consistency here. I've never used this paint, so this will be a first for me. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. I'll stir it up and then today 
for the actual painting, I decided to switch my brush. I was using a two inch yesterday, but today I needed it to be a little bit more precise. So I'm switching to, where did I put it? I'm switching to a one and a half inch brush. It flew away though, so, oh, it's actually right here by the camera. Look at that, right here. So one and a half inch brush for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my first brush strokes and let's see how they go on. Strokes, this is going on beautifully. All right, I'm gonna stop the video here and show you when I finish. All right, you guys, this is all dried. I've got two layers of paint and a coat of primer, and it is gorgeous. But because I like that farmhouse feel, I'm gonna go ahead and take some small chunks of sandpaper and I'm going to distress this. I'm going to be distressing it in the places that would naturally get distressed. So a lot of like the edges and some of these front spindles and some, some corners. All right, I'll go ahead and fast forward. We're almost there. That's a wrap on that project. Again, I used the Graham and Brown paint in the color white. It was an excellent product and I would highly recommend it. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm gonna go ahead and stage some photos so you can see my end result. Thanks for joining me. Bye.